what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Ayanna Jackson, Tupac's rape accuser, resurfaced in the news several days ago when Vlad TV did an interview with her where she told her side of the story on what happened on the night that Tupac supposedly raped her, Tupac and his associates. Now, she went on and on about what went down and how she was violated, but there were several stories that just did not add up. There were several holes in her story. And if anybody really watched the video, it's very easy to see. Now let me say this off the rip. By no stretch of the imagination am I a proponent or a lobbyist for anybody who rapes a woman or anybody. I'm not with it. In fact, I don't even condone it when people do it in jail, when they do it to rapists. I don't condone it on no level. Unlike the Donald Trumps of the world, I don't defend rapists. By the same token, I don't defend those who lie about rape. And I'm going to tell you just like this. Ayanna Jackson is lying. Man, it don't take a genius, man, to listen to somebody and be able to decipher whether they're lying or not. You can listen to them how they change their stories up and how they hesitate on certain words. Check out how they fidget, the nervousness, all of this stuff, the tone, the voice tone, the change. You, you can tell when somebody is lying if you study human beings. Now, there are those who say, well, nobody knows what happened if we wasn't there. Well, we wasn't there for slavery either, but we know it happened, right? Come on, man. This woman, a few days ago, gets captured taking a picture in front of a Tupac mural. Why in the hell? This is common sense, man. This ain't no damn rocket science stuff, man. This is common sense. You ain't got to go to school for this. This common sense. Why in the hell would somebody take a picture in front of a mural of the person that they accused of violating them? Of violating them in the most personal sense. Why would somebody do that? Why would a victim do that? No, a victim would not do that. But somebody who is a liar, somebody who is who has uh, malicious and criminal intent, they would. And Ayanna Jackson, she fits the description. If you look at the picture, look at her. She got that look on her face like, yeah, nigga, I told you I was going to get you. Come on, man. I surmise that she got hot because Pop didn't treat her like a lady. I think what happened is that Pop treated her pretty much like a whore, which that's what she was. Because any woman that would eat a man up on a crowded dance floor got to be a whore. I don't know nothing that's what you can call it, man. I'm trying to figure out a nicer word. I can't think of nothing. Man, you can't have it both ways. You can't have, you can't behave like a whore and expect somebody to treat you like a lady. It don't work like that. You can't have it both ways. You're either a lady or you're something else. This, this chick, man, I do believe that she is responsible to some extent for Pac's demise. Because if Pac had never gone to jail for that rape case, Pac probably would have never signed with death row and Pac would have probably had people around him that would not co-sign bad activity. You know, 
if Pac would have even just been around somebody like me, I would have pulled, look at Pac, hey, man, uh, man, that ain't cool. I'm going to tell him just like it is, that ain't cool. Um, when I saw Pac had signed, I remember as soon as I saw that Pac had signed with Death Row, I said he did. Because just because of how they was moving, you know, it was just too much drama. And Pop himself, he was full of some drama too. But you can't have everybody, you know, doing the same type of thing. Everybody full of drama. Everybody ready to ride at all times. Somebody got to sit back and be thinking like, oh man, I don't think that's a good look. You know, it can't just be smashed the gas all the time. Somebody got to be there to pump the brakes and say, hold on, man, let's, let's look at this another way. I ain't saying let's not ride on them, but I'm saying let's take a critical analysis of the situation and then decide what we want to do. But with Pop, with Shug, I mean, Pop, Shug together? Come on, man. I remember hanging out with Shug once and me and Shug, we was in Miami. Uh, and we were doing a radio interview and the, and the, uh, the DJ was like, well, what are y'all doing? You know, ask Suge, what you going to do after this? And Suge was like, man, we finna do it. I said, nah, nah, you hanging with me tonight. You going to be with me tonight. Ain't nobody getting shot. Ain't nobody getting killed. Ain't nobody getting beat up tonight. You rolling with me tonight. And that's how it went down. Nobody got shot. Nobody got beat up. Nobody got killed. I think it was just a few few months later, Suge went back out to Miami and got shot. So you got to have somebody around that's got some sense, you know, that's, that's critically thinking, you know, that's being logical about these situations because things are going to happen and you're going to have adversaries and it's going to be t a time to ride and it's going to be a time to fall back. And you put Pop and Suge together. Ah, man. Hard to do. This chick wasn't worried about justice. She was worried about getting Pop, getting paid. I think at some point she probably even got high off the attention. You did? See, and I think... I think Pac probably did almost the thing that almost any dude in that situation would have done. The only thing he could have done differently is not put himself in the situation at all. And man, when you young, man, and you just out there having fun and you flipping the women and whatever, man, that's easy to get caught. It's very easy to get caught up in a situation like that. So, you know, if, if you ain't lived that life, if you ain't had access to women like that, then it's going to be hard to imagine but even dudes who haven't had access like that has, like Pac, or didn't have Pac's stature, has had access to where they could run a train on a chick. You know, that ain't hard to do. So, you know, I, I really can't blame Pac for that situation at all, man. I mean, that's any, almost anybody would find themselves in a situation like that. And you basically gonna let a hoe be a hoe. You're not gonna treat a hoe like a queen. You're going to treat a hoe like a hoe. And I think that's what happened. He treated a hoe like a hoe. And she thought that she was special. And she wanted something more with Pop. And at the end of the day, she got what she got. And Pop paid the price for dealing with, you know, being in the company of a hoe. I think that's how it went down. I think Pop was a good dude. He had a good heart, you know. And it's sad what happened to the dude, man. It's really sad that we lost him so early. I mean, a straight, a damn genius. 25 years old, all of the stuff that he accomplished just at 25 years old, can you imagine what Pac would be like now? Damn, imagine the contributions. Oh, man, that was cold. Rape, again, I'm going to tell you, man, rape is a horrible, horrible act. So I would never condone that. I would never protect a rapist. Ever, never. 
fact, when I found out my uncle was one, man, my, it took my cousin to stop me from riding on him. And I'm talking about riding all the way on him. So, I believe this chick is a liar. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.